Well, Michael, I see you're back around and making time for your mental health. Yeah, I don't know why I came. Hmm. What do you want, Michael? I don't know. Just... I just want... I want something that isn't this. You know? This caring about two things at once. I mean, I want to be a good dad. Love my family. You know, live the dream. But at the same time... I really want the other stuff, too. I suppose you haven't really considered the fact that by neglecting your therapy, you've guaranteed these behavioral relapses. No, I hadn't considered that. So, pal, what's the source of conflict this time? Things are kind of on the uptick, Doc. There's no greater concern than optimism. Where are we now? Ah, <laughs> uh, today's getting hard to keep track of who wants to kill me at any given moment. <laughs> Trevor still wants to eat my liver, but we're playing nice because we're working a job together. The FIB, they want me dead uh, because I'm no longer useful to them. The investor guy who hooked me up with the studio, he's pissed off because I didn't burn it down for him. But, the wife and kids are back under the roof, so maybe things are okay. Mm-hmm. Well, family is important, Michael, but make sure you want them there for the right reasons. Well, actually, you know, I mean, now that I think of it, I'm great. Could not be better. That Trevor problem disappeared completely. Wiped off the face of the planet. A couple of investments came through. I can finally get out of the game, you know? I dissolved those contacts. I mean, maybe there's a few people still pissed at me. That investor guy, maybe. I don't care. I got my eyes open. I'm gonna start making plays in the movie business. Movie people, Doc, they get me. That's all I'm looking for, is mutual respect. That all sounds fine, but... I sense you're not telling me how you really feel. You know what, Doc? I'm okay. Things have finally come together for me. I mean, I made a bunch of money, and most of those guys that wanted me gone, <laughs> they don't want nothing no more. <clears throat> well, I'm not gonna pretend that my life's not still a mess. I mean, I know I... Still got a long way to go, you know, with my family, my friends, my aspirations. I mean, I know, I've done a lot of bad things, Doc. I told a lot of lies. But, Doc, I'm hopeful. Uh oh, uh, mm. don't hide behind hope, Michael. Hope is the enemy of hard work. Any other acting out friend? Tell me. I happen to feel I'm making real progress, Doc. No major acting out. Well, not too much. I had a, you know, a freak out or two, but hey, I'm feeling better. Remember, Michael, denial is the cornerstone of relapses. You're not a well man. Ah, the odd thing. You know, but mostly I've been good, honestly. Not a few robberies, but nothing, really. I'm pretty much fixed. Oh, I'm really glad to hear that. But I'm worried about this compartmentalization. Not really. I mean, you know, I've been working on myself. Just uh, I stole a couple cars, a few. There's nothing serious. Good, good. But I hope we're not back justifying the unjustifiable, my friend. No. Not really. You don't look so fucking surprised. It's just, uh, you know, a little robbery. You know, cars mostly. Ooh, did some dangerous driving. Really, nothing too bad. Now is when we need more sessions, Michael. You took a wrong turn a long way back. Things have really been up and down, Doc. I mean, one minute I'm fine, the next the fucking red mist descends. I can't seem to help myself. 
These are the classic symptoms of your condition, Michael. You're very ill. Oh, yeah, the fucking works. I've done a lot of bad fucking things, Doc, and there's hardly a mortal sin that I ain't committed, all right? I wish you were always this honest, buddy. It's a vital part of recovery. Sometimes I'm fine, Doc. Sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I'm two different people, and I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. Yeah. Even on the way over here, I think I killed someone. And you know what? I don't care. I'm sick, Doc. I'm a sick, hypocritical fuck. I agree. Which is why you should really bulk buy a batch of sessions. I, I, I've been out of control, Doc. I think I got, you know, an imbalance or something. You know what I mean? One minute I'm one person and the next minute I'm another person. And you sometimes feel you're not responsible for your actions. It's all denial. <sighs> I ain't been a good boy, Doc. I mean, you know, things just all of a sudden get up on top of me, right fucking on top. And then I lose my shit, and I hurt people, and then I feel bad about it. I, I'm a fucking prick. Remorse is good, but not as good as taking control before you act out. Yeah, I mean, I've had good days, Doc, but mostly they've just been really bad days. I've been doing really bad things, you know, hurting people. You're a very sick man, Michael. I'm doing all I can, but we need more sessions. It was a fuck up, Doc. I'm still a good guy underneath. Holy <laughs> shit! Moron. Well, Michael, any input? Thoughts? What are you thinking? How does that make you feel, buddy? Silence speaks volumes. Hmm. I want to be good, Doc. I really do. But then I get angry. Hmm. Anything else? Anything sexual? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. <sighs> Not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. Well, you know, I've, I've been a good boy in that regard. I'm making real progress, Doc. We are making progress, Michael. You're finally listening to me. Great. I'm doing well, Doc, in that regard. Nothing to report, not one single thing. That's great, Michael. It's real progress. See? Treatment works when you try. I've... Oh, I ain't been perfect. But I ain't been bad. Just skin joints. You know, nothing too serious. Okay, Michael, well, in the circumstances, I think that's some kind of progress. <sighs> well... Just strippers, Doc. You know? And, and respectful. No hookers. And no sex. Just lap dances. Mm, well, as long as you're being honest, that's not too bad. We can live with that. I've been good. You know, just a stripper here or there. Nothing serious. Hey, even my wife wouldn't care. Then that's great news. Just strippers is okay, given your history and... Sexual insecurity. And I was doing okay. But then, I... <sighs> with a working girl. Not good. I was not a good boy. That's not good. You're trying to make better choices. Well, we need more sessions. I got real lonely, so I picked up a girl. You know how it is. <sighs> Didn't help. I still hate myself. I don't feel sorry for you. I feel concerned you can't manage your emotions better. I've acted out a lot, Doc. I've been a real bad boy. Paid women, strippers, everything. I, I suck. Well, 
We have spent years discussing your sexual insecurities. It's to be expected. I've been really bad, Doc. Lots of women, all the time. I can't seem to control myself. It's natural for someone with your emotional inadequacy and sexual immaturity. Look, I made a few mistakes, Doc. Pretty bad ones, but in the last few days, I've been a lot better. Well, I suppose you seeing the problems you cause is progress of a sort. So, I feel like there's progress in some areas and, you know, none in others. That's incredible stuff. I don't think I've ever heard such a barrage of denial, self-justification, and outright horror. The thing is, Michael, here, can we just get a quick photo together? Cheese. What is this? I really think I can't treat you anymore. The fact is, I'm in love with you. The fuck are you talking okay, about, Okay, well, Doc? that's not true. <laughs> Good. You're learning. Good. What's going on? Nothing. It's just... I think you need a new therapist. And I'm leaving town. I've got a TV show. I'm gonna be famous. I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> think of the fucking tale. All those fucking bitches who called me pube head. <laughs> oh, they'll be lining up to suck it now. You got a TV show. You! Uh, best not to think too closely about what I just said. It's not like I'll be using real names or anything. <laughs> I'm really discreet. Bye now. Fuck. My lawyer says you can't prove defamation! You wanted me to listen to your problems? Now the whole country will listen to your problems. Pubehead! This kind of exposure will push you to the help you need. You fucking head trigger! You're acting out, Michael. Don't act out! I poured my heart out to you! And my wallet! Stop and think about it! Deep breaths. Calm. Calm. That's my life! Don't you want to be famous? Hey, everybody wants to be famous. It's a primal urge. I trusted you, you prick! Isn't this the attention you were looking for? Hey, those ain't your secrets to sell! Hey, I'm a nice person! You gotta tell people that! Now, that's how you work through an issue. Now, that's how you work through an issue. You wanted me to listen to your problems? Now the whole... <laughs> now, that's how you work through an issue. I hope you didn't shit yourself. Breaking news. Isaiah Friedlander killed. Radio host and author Isaiah Friedlander was murdered by an unknown assailant yesterday. The psychiatrist only recently rose to fame following the publication of his hugely successful book about his relationship with an idiotic, if terrifying and amusingly deluded sociopath and apparently retired bank robber, he codenames Marky DeSantos. Trigger. It's a primal urge. Pube head. Don't you want to be famous? Now, that's 
how you work through an issue. I'll shove your show up your ass, Doc. This is Dr. Isaiah Friedlander. My practice is closed now, but you can tune into my new radio show for all your mental health needs. This is Dr. Isaiah Friedlander's office. There's no one here right now. Leave a message and we'll book you in as soon as we can. Be well. This is Dr. Isaiah Friedlander. I can't come to the phone right now. If you've been trusted with the premium rate emergency line, call it now. I don't know why I came. Hmm. What do you want, Michael? I don't know. I just... I just want... I want something that isn't this. You know? This caring about two things at once. I mean, I want to be a good dad.